We've built a bit of confidence over the last couple of weeks. Um, we seem to be back on top of our defence, only conceding three tries. So, um, and our attack seems to be starting to fire again. So, yeah, we, we, we've got a fair amount of confidence about us. Yeah, we, uh, we we finished in the competition where we deserve to finish, which is seventh, which which gives us a tight hole. And what we have to do now is we've just got to keep winning. It's not about performances anymore. It's just about winning. So we get. Uh, we go to Hull, if, we, if we, we get a performance and lose, we lose both about the performance. If we get a win, regardless of the performance, then we'll take it and we'll move forward to the week after. But that's just the, the key for us. Our attitude is just going to be to win the game. We, we've just got to find that level of consistency and, you know, it starts now. Now, now you can't afford to slip up. You need to be on top of your game. You need to bring your best game each week now. And anyone in the top eight can beat anyone on any given day. So it, it's just turning up with the right attitude and being on top of your game. And I think um, you've only lost once at the KC this year against Wigan. Is, is That's going to be important, isn't it, that you're at home and that you've made the KC a bit of a fortress this year? It was a goal of, us, goal of ours early in the season to, to try and nail a home semi. Um, we've done that and it's a, it's a great uh, tribute to the players to be able to, to come over, overcome the adversity we've had this year with injuries and players coming and going. But they've still maintained their, their focus on getting that goal and, and to play in front of our home crowd, it's... It's a bit of a thank you to them too because they, we want them there singing and chanting and really getting behind us because they do play a big part in that. Yeah, I think we've proven that again at the weekend, but the players that we had out there are good enough to do a job on any team and we've shown that before. I think people forget that we have had quite a lot of injuries and going into that Leeds game we had five, six players to come back. That's what, who came into the team and it just made such a difference to us. We just seemed to be starting on the front foot and we had people in positions that could actually score tries and do a great job for us and uh, maybe it's just smart coaching tactics you know maybe resting players and not performing well towards the back end of the season it's about hitting form at the right time i was hoping we've done it now i think Leeds showed last year that you can come from the bottom part of the, the bottom four of the top eight uh, you can do it but you need to bring your best game each week you can't afford to to be 90% on top of your game, you've got to be 100% on top of your game, and, and you will threaten those sides that are above you. Yeah, very good, very good team. They got a lot of strengths all over the park, and they got a lot of strike all over the park as well. So we have to we have to be wary of it and uh, and do some things uh, to try and counter that. Lot. I suppose it could do, but I think you've just got to look at um, the good games that they have played um, to know what they are capable of, and to know that we've got to turn up um, come come Sunday. Um, and putting a good performance to get the win. And yourselves, you seem to have found some reasonable form at the moment, and you you must go in quietly confident into into this playoff series. Yeah, definitely. Like you say, we've come off two two wins, um, and we've got a lot of confidence from that. And hopefully, we'll keep that consistent run through the through the playoffs. We need to win every game. Um, there's no second chances, so we need to carry on that winning mentality throughout these playoffs.